Hey Cancer, welcome to your general love reading for the second half of November 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Cancer. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. If you want, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. And let's see what is going on with Cancer. Second half of November. Oh, we have soulmate. Okay, so you're definitely dealing with the soulmate connection here. It could be a divine soulmate, um, but definitely it feels very, very intense. There could It could be that there's a lot of lessons that you are learning through this. These connections do not tend to be easy, okay? So if you don't feel like that is you, then this might not <clears throat> resonate with you. So let's get into this and see. Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Last half of November. All right, for the situation, yeah, the Five of Wands, all right? So a little bit of conflict crossed by the Knight of Cups. Hmm, let's continue here. Recent past, the Page of Cups, near future, the Ten of Cups, all right, that looks good. Um, for your energy, we have the Three of Cups. For them, the Ace of Swords. More about you is the Page of Swords. For them, the King of Wands. And potential outcome here, we have the Star. Okay, yeah. Definitely does feel like a soulmate connection here. Um, so there is some conflict that is happening here. It feels like somebody... Um, really wants to come forward, possibly open up more emotionally or give a more solid love offer. And I feel like that is what is not happening currently. Um, in the recent past, the Page of Cups, there was, there was some emotional expression here, all right? There was some opening up of emotions or they were like peeping through or maybe for some of you, there was a lot of this, all right? But that was there and I feel like it's, it's, it's feeling like there's um, an issue when it comes to that actually progressing. Um, for you, you're, I feel like you're in a space where you possibly want a reconciliation with this person or you want things to just be light, all right? Because I feel like there is some conflict right now. Uh, and that conflict could be just on your end. It could be on both of you. I kind of feel like it's for the both of you. Um, but it's like you just want things to be more happy, more lighthearted. And I do feel like you are still interested in this connection quite a bit. Um, for them, there is some action here. There's a lot of, um, there's definitely a lot of passion from this person, but it could even be that this person wants to maintain some kind of a control. But we'll see. I mean, the, the future energies are looking actually pretty good with the Ten of Cups. I do see things moving forward here, coming up, like there is going to be this sense of, okay, you know, this happiness between the two of us is possible. It's possible to get there. It's possible to resolve that conflict. And then for the potential outcome here, we have the star. So that is that is hope. It's healing as well as hope. So let's clarify. Because it does look it does look pretty good actually. Um, but let's see. So the five of wands and the knight of cups. Let's see what that's about. Nine of Swords, the Five of Wands again, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like currently, or during this time, there is a lot of tension, there's a lot of stress. Whatever it is, it could even be like, um, I'm even getting possible misunderstandings, possible arguments, or just some tension between the two of you, some kind of a conflict here. And it does feel like, you know, it's almost like you can't find, you or them or the both of you, can't find the practical approach for how to go about resolving this. It's also coming in like somebody just not giving much. 
So we'll get more specific as we go along. Um, let's see, let's see that three of cups in your energy. I'm also getting that for some of you, there are some external um, issues that actually create part of this um, issue here. Like there's stuff that's happening outside of your connection. And that outside stuff is creating a lot of stress, which just puts more strain on the connection with you and this other person. Kind of like somebody, you know, is already um, predisposed to conflict or to being irritable or to um, getting into an argument. Like somebody is on edge is the way it's coming in. All right, so for you, we have uh, clarifying the three of cups. We have the star showing up again. All right, so that is Aquarius energy that is showing up here. Um, the five of swords and the seven of pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, it's almost coming in as you really wishing for this, you having hope that this connection can go back to, maybe back to how it was or to being more lighthearted, but it, it kind of feels like you don't even care if you it, skip some steps. Um, it's like you just want to get there. You just want to get there. You just don't want this conflict. You don't want any more of this stress or, you know, just confusion or whatever it is that is happening. But yeah, I feel like that's why we have the Five of Swords with that Seven of Pentacles because it's like... You want to get there in a way like, let's just get there. You know, you just, you just want to have victory over this, or you just want this to be successful, but that actually there's like certain things that need to happen first. Um, like there has to be some kind of working things out. It can't just, you can't just sweep everything under the rug. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, um, rules can be reversed by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. Right, so for the Page of Swords in your energy, we get the Sun, the King of Wands, again showing up, um, and Strength. Okay, so some of you might be dealing with a Fire Sign, particularly a Leo. Okay, that's showing up very strongly here, all right? These are like all Leo cards, basically, all three of them here. Um, but of course, it could be any sign. Yeah, again, it's like you just want to be happy with this person, right? This person is showing up as that king of wands. You just want to be happy with this person. Um, and I feel like strength is here because it's like you just want to have the strength to just move forward and get over this. You're definitely feeling like this is a person you could be happy with, potentially. Um, I do also kind of get that you are holding back a little bit, which might be, which might actually serve you in this particular case. I feel like you're, you're interested, right? But you're kind of holding back. It's like you're using strength to hold back from this, even though deep down you believe that you could be happy. So you're just presenting yourself as this page of swords, you know, like, yeah, willing to talk, willing to communicate if this person, um, you know, steps it up a little bit, but you're not, you're not pursuing it. All right, let's see the, ooh, just dropped the card. The Ace of Swords for them. All right, first card out, we have the Four of Cups. Let's see what else. The Moon and the Six of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, it feels like this person is kind of, um, I feel like at the moment they're, they might be ignoring you. Maybe not 100%. 
maybe not 100%, but to some extent this, this person is ignoring you, but they're not happy. They're not happy. They're repressing a lot of their emotions at the moment, just trying to, they're trying to get to a calmer place too. I feel like, you know, there has been, like I said, there's been a lot of tension between the two of you, which, like I said, it's a soulmate connection and that's just, you know, the things that happen because that's how we grow from these connections. So it feels like at the moment this person is just trying to get to a calmer place, just trying to pretty much avoid instigating things or making things worse or more um, conflict driven. So it could be that, you know, you're feeling like this person has kind of disappeared. I do feel like there is, um, they're taking action, but again, their action is, I, I feel is pretty much avoidance, pretty much trying to just avoid making things worse. And it's like this person is feeling like, well, if I avoid the situation, you know, maybe that's how it will be resolved. Because if I continue or if I take any action towards this, then that tension or the conflict might actually increase. So that would be why they're keeping their distance. I do feel like deep down though, they know the truth. All right, let's see the King of Wands. Here we have the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Yeah, okay, so this person is definitely, definitely has a lot of passion for you. I mean, it just feels like things are very, very fiery. Um, in this connection, which could also be one of the reasons why it creates so much tension. Um, definitely this person is seeing you as, as this Empress, as this Queen of Pentacles, somebody who is very, I'm even getting responsible, um, nurturing as well as just you taking care of yourself, you demanding even respect. They're seeing you as this, I mean, just really having you high up on a pedestal. But again, it's like, there is this, this drive for them to take action, all right? That's very clear with the Ace of Swords and the King of Wands, all right? But again, there's some procrastination here with that Three of Wands. All right, so let's see the Ten of Cups for what is coming up. Hermit, the Emperor, all right, having Aries showing up here as well as Virgo and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so this isn't, this isn't too bad, right? It's the Ten of Cups. All right, so definitely, definitely, um, the both of you just really coming into this energy of feeling the connection of knowing what it is that is possible. All right. That's what I'm getting here because there's still a little bit of avoidance here with that seven of swords. There's still a little bit of that avoidance. Um, I do still feel like this person is holding back a little bit with the, with the hermit and the, and the emperor. It's almost like this person wants to be just to make sure that they maintain control. As I said before. Um, it's almost like feeling like if they engage with this or if they if they act impulsively or, you know, move forward, again, that it's going to create more conflict. And so I feel like they're doing some, it might not be apparent, but they're doing some kind of soul searching here with this hermit, really going within. And what they discover is that this Ten of Cups, right, is there between the two of you in the energy. But because they have this need to be in control and make sure that they don't lose that control over their own self. It's like they're they're still sneaking away from from that energy, but they feel it though for sure. And I feel like you you feel it as well. But you're learning your own lessons through this. So let's see the start for the potential outcome. 
Ooh, okay, wow. The Hierophant, the Three of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Yeah, okay, so there's definitely a lot of hope here, okay, for this connection. I feel like there's a lot of divine guidance, a lot of um, intervention by the universe, right? Because we have this Hierophant, which is talking about something very, very stable, right? A commitment, even marriage, possibly. And with the Three of Pentacles, this is definitely, to me, the Three of Pentacles can be like a contract. It's working together, coming to some kind of an agreement, to some kind of a consent. Okay, so I, and the High Priestess, right? I, this is just very, very strong energy here. All right, this is also Taurus showing up. Um, yeah, this definitely has a lot of potential here. And I do see with that three of pentacles, it's like working together, compromising. That would be, and with the high priestess, that's like more peaceful energy. That's coming out of that conflict, right? Being able to see more clearly what the situation is. And so, yeah, this might not exactly happen at the end of November, although it definitely could. I do see things getting better towards, towards the end of the month. All right, but because it's the star. So I feel like that's just the potential and the healing and the guidance, the divine intervention that is moving this connection closer and closer to that hierophant, right? To that commitment and to that coming to an agreement here. All right, Cancer, if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And we have the new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. Yeah, so I feel like whoever it was that wasn't giving much, right, to this, um, this is something that they are discovering, this is something that they are learning, right, coming into that, understanding that, you know, we have to give, we can't just take, we, we have to give, and it's not just about taking, um, it's about giving, yeah, not just to take, but also to be able to get to that happiness, to get to that Ten of Cups, to get to a deep connection. So... Cancer, that is what I got for you. I thank you so much for watching and much love.